welcome to my channel, Sandy Totero. My name is Laura. I'm very pleased to be reading for you guys today. I am doing a weekly reading. This is going to be a timeless weekly reading, so whenever you click on this video, it is kind of what's, what's happening for you in the next seven days. I'm filming it for the week of April 25th through May 1st. Some of my subscribers do watch my weekly readings in real time. So if you're one of those people, then this is your reading for that week. If you do not have the opportunity to uh, watch it on the week of April 25th, then whenever you click on this video is the right time for you. However, I will say this, on April 26th is a full moon and it is the first of two super moons in the year 2021. And now a super moon just means that they're bigger and brighter. Um, but they're kind of cool and full moons are times for releasing. That doesn't mean to say that if you have something that you need to release, you cannot do it at another time in the month. It's just, uh, it's just traditionally full moons are a good time to release things that you need to release. So I have chosen for the topic for this reading today, what do you need to release? That's just what we're going to start with, and we'll see where the reading takes us. I have only pulled one card that's down here under these piles. So, um, yeah, so this, this first card will get us started about talking about what it is that you need to release. We'll delve deeper uh, and get some clarification on why you need to release it, what is going to be the best way to release it, or any other information that uh, I feel is pertinent or might help. And so I know you guys know that releasing just means these are the things that you need to let go of. And we all have times that we need to release things in our life. And we also have times that we need to draw things into this, into us. And actually new moons are good times to manifest, to like put your desires out into the universe. But as you go through the month, Usually you find some things that you need to let go of. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a job, maybe it's an attitude. A lot of times it's an attitude. A lot of times you'll find yourself in this particular month uh, thinking about past hurts or things like that. And so when that happens, you know, just keep a little bit of a journal about it. Like I've been really been thinking about this a lot lately. It's been on my mind. How can I release it? And then on the full moon you do this very, I do a very simple ritual. I just write down what I need to release. I burn it. I say a little prayer. I burn it out in the full moon, out in the moonlight, say a little prayer and just release it to God, to the universe, to the divine, and uh, just let it go, basically. All right. So this particular full moon is a pink moon and the uh, doesn't it's not pink it's not going to be pink unfortunately that would be pretty cool wouldn't it So the pink moon just means or it's called that because in North America uh, a particular kind of flower blooms at this time of year into April so a wildflower is called a phlox, some kind of a phlox. The common name, I don't know what the Latin technical name for it is, but the common name is a uh, creeping phlox or creeping phlox or moss phlox is what they call it. And it's this little, little bitty pink flower that just spreads across the ground. Just tons of pink flowers across the ground. It's really pretty. But that's the reason that this April full moon is called the pink moon. So I do have a couple of pink stones down here in honor of the pink moon, just trying to keep it kind of bright colors and light colors and pastels and things like that. No significance to the stone other than that this week. I just particularly liked these colors. They spoke to me, so that's what I chose. So on pile one, we do have a rose quartz. On pile two, an amethyst. On pile three, this hot pink agate that is man-made and dyed, and I love it. Uh, hot pink is absolutely one of my favorite colors. Mm. It actually might be my signature color, red or hot pink. I don't know which one. Uh, aqua Aura Quartz on pile four, and citrine on pile five. 
Okay, so for those of you who know how to do pick a cards, you've done them before, just go ahead and make your choice. The timestamps will be in the description box below. You can use that information to go directly to your reading. For those of you who have not done a pick a card reading before and maybe are looking for a little guidance on how to pick, there really is no wrong way to choose. However you do it is the right way for you and you're not gonna get the wrong pile. If you do happen to, pick a pile, you get into the reading, it's like totally not resonating with you at all, it's fine, it's just not your reading, just click off of it, go on to a different pile, or go on to a different reading. There, are, uh, I have tons of readings out there now, and there are so many great uh, readers, tarot readers on YouTube, so you, you're spoiled for choice, really. So, some people will close their eyes and take a few deep breaths and then when they open their eyes whatever pile they're drawn to that's the pile that they choose some people choose based on the stone they just happen to like that particular crystal or they just happen to like that particular color so they'll choose that way some people choose based on these numbers like they have a favorite number from one to five like maybe four is their favorite number so they'll choose that pile some people find synchronicities in the timestamps, and a lot of times there are, like repeating numbers and things like that, or you know your birth date or your birth year or whatever. So uh, some people will choose based on the timestamp, and uh, some people will watch actually watch all of the readings, and then the one that resonates with them is the reading that they claim as their own. As I said, just be real intuitive about it. Don't overthink it and make your decision. I will have the timestamps in the description box below. So once you make your decision, you can go directly to your reading. So let's go ahead and get started on um, this weekly reading for whatever week you click on it. And the topic today is, what do you need to release? Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile one with the rose quartz on it, these are gonna be your messages for the week. Um, for the next seven days, what do you need to release? Um, this is a good time, uh, full moons are a good time to release, but that doesn't mean that you have to do uh, release rituals on the full moon. You can do them any time. You can release what you need to release anytime you need to release it, right? But traditionally, people will do some kind of releasing kind of ceremony or, that ceremony t sounds a little too, um, structured it's not really it doesn't have to be that structured you can just write it on a piece of paper tear it up and 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 say i release this you know or just have the intention to release something that needs the you need to let go of so i have one card pulled here already from the druid craft tarot that'll get us started for the reading i have other cards that i'm going to pull as we go through the process I am timing them again this week. I'm timing it 10 minutes. Uh, I did that last week and people seem to like that. I think it makes it makes the reading snappier. You don't have to invest as much time either. So, okay, let's just go ahead and get started. What do you need to release? Pile one. Okay, so you got the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is kind of a card of resting. It's a kind of a card of taking it time out to take care of yourself like you need like you're recuperating from an illness or something so when you get the four of swords in a reading it's uh, time uh, to take solace to retreat from activity um, and to rest so getting this as something that you need to release tells me that it is time the rest is over it's time for you to get out there in the world you need to release solace and the resting it is time for activity it's time to move forward it's time to get out there in the world if you have kind of been healing from a process you need to release the healing you need to uh, release the uh, the pain whatever it is that you are healing from and uh, let it go because it's over this card is telling me whatever it is that you've been resting from is over. You have recuperated, and it is time to get back out there into the world. 
All right, so let's see if we can get some more messages on this. Tell us a little bit more about these. Uh, message for pile one. What else you got? All right, so you got the four of wands. Hmm. You got the eight of wands. There it is. And you got the magician. Okay, very good. Uh, four. When I saw this, uh, another four, I thought, hmm, that's still stagnation, right? But four of wands is kind of a card of celebration. It's a celebration of around the home. It is happy home. It is, um, maybe you actually do have a cause for celebration, like something come, some news comes in this week and you're getting a promotion at work or you, um, or were accepted uh, into a college that you wanted to go to, or um, what else? Oh, we can celebrate so many things. Maybe you have a birthday. Maybe somebody's getting married. Maybe there's a wedding that needs to be celebrated. But again, this is fours. So this being in the past place is telling, or the past part of this reason, reading is saying, okay, you have been kind of taking a time out. You've been enjoying your time at home. Maybe this is just COVID, right? Uh, like the last year, people have been sticking really, really close to home, resting, recuperating, uh, enjoying time with friends and family around, centered around the home in small groups, right? Because we couldn't really get together, uh, but just with the nuclear family and spending that time together. Okay, so that's kind of where we are. There's new inspiration that's coming in this week. There's new ideas. Um, new possibilities, new opportunities that are coming into you this week that pushes you out of this comfort zone that you've been uh, this this uh, state of rest and relaxing and being at home and taking solace from the world. You're moving out. You're moving out into the world. The magician card is the card of being a master manifester. So. Uh, I feel like, okay, so full moons are times to release. New moons are times to put your desires out there into the universe and to manifest. So I feel like this week, since it is a full moon, you're, you're soaking up the last bits of this great time that you've had to rest and relax and recuperate. You're releasing it. You're saying, okay, I am re releasing this. I am ready to move out into the world to uh, create different goals for myself, new goals for myself. I've got some inspiration. Some inspiration comes in this week. I've got some creative ideas here. Now, uh, one of the messages of the Eight of Wands is you got, you got it, it's a lose, use it or lose it kind of situation. When you get all these creative ideas, when you get all these opportunities coming to you, um, you gotta use it or you'll lose it. You got to pick up one of those wands and, th and toss it and say, this is the one I want. This is the direction I wanna go in. So what's really cool about this card is it says that Whatever your goals are, you have all the things that you need to make it happen, to make it become a reality. You have all of the tools that you need. If you need relationships, if you need help from somebody, that's going to be there. That's indicated by the cups here. If you need money, the uh, pinnacles here says you're going to have the money that you need. With the wands, you've got the energy, you've got the creative ideas. And with the swords here, you've got the mental clarity and you have the mental capacity, you have the mental ability to do whatever it is that you wanna do, whatever your goal is. Whatever it takes, you can do it. The uh, magician is always pulling something from the heavens and pulling it right down to the earth to make it reality, putting the desire uh, grabbing the desire from the heavens like uh, so many people come to whatever their goals are in so many different ways like they'll meditate on it or they'll do a vision board and and you know as in that process of creating that vision board they discover that which they really want what their goals are what they want to manifest in this life so the magician is actually 
grabbing that from the heavens, from uh, the divine, from the universe, and pulling it right down to earth in the 3D. Whatever it is that you wanna manifest, you're gonna be able to do that. And it's gonna come to you, uh, it's gonna come to you, I don't wanna say pretty easily, but it feels like you have everything that you need to make your dreams a reality. Let's see if we can get uh, just, Anything else Spirit wants to talk to about, talk to Pile 1 about when it comes to this uh, time to move forward? Time to get out of the house. Time to get out in the world, pursue your goals, your dreams, whatever that ends up being. you got a couple of twos here. you got the two of swords, which is a card of... First of all, card it's going to be a card to use in your intuition to make a decision. Like there is some decision that has to be made that you kind of are not wanting to look at. The message of the card is you can't hold out forever. You're going to have to, you gotta, you got to take the blindfolds off. Notice that. Is it a woman? I think it's a woman. It's blindfolded. So you're going to have to take the blindfolds off and look at, uh, look at what you need to, look at and make the decision that you about something that you need to make the decision about. I think it's just finding your next steps because this is the card of prospecting. The two of wands is a card of looking at, you got a lot of wands here. Wands are action, uh, activity, energy, moving forward, uh, adventures. The two of wands is looking out at the world. He literally has a world in his hand. But he's looking out over the ocean at the world and trying to figure out what his next move is, what he wants to do next. So uh, I think something happens for you guys this week that, that makes you do this. Release this. Too much, too much time in solitude and, and, and not... It's just too much. <laughs> and not being out there in the world and... It is too isolating and depressing. Um, I feel like it might be, uh, the home is a great place to be and you have experienced a happy home situation in this time that you've taken this time out. Um, however, there is a big, beautiful world out there and it's time for you to go out, go out into it and manifest your dreams. Figure out what your dreams are. There's decisions to be made about that for sure. But then once you figure it out, put that desire out into the universe. Take one of these wands and run with it. Take one of these ideas. All of these are creative ideas. And they're, it just it just comes at you just, just, just right at you, which is a good, you know, kind of ener energizing place to be when you have all those creative ideas popping. Okay, so that noise indicates that time is up. So I'm gonna do one card from the Angels and Ancestors and see if we can get just a final message from our Angels and Ancestors for pile one. Just see if there's anything else for pile one here. Any additional messages? This is a very good reading, you guys, actually. Um, and I feel like so many people have been there, just isolating because we've had to isolate. And um, it's hard to give that up a little bit, right? Because, you know, how often do we get to spend so much time uh, doing the things that we love, taking care of ourselves, spending good quality time with our family? You know, that's been one good thing that has come out of the pandemic and the stay-at-home orders and stuff like that. Um, so it is a little hard to get back out there, but you're going to do it. You're going to get the inspiration that you need to do it. Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. So yeah, that's uh, uh, you're going to have some opportunities that are coming to you that have uh, that are going to cause you to look at these gifts that you have that you've always had that you've kind of been sitting on for the last year or so, and transform them. You're gonna uh, well. You're going to transform them and you're going to unveil them to the world in this new endeavor, whatever that is that you're going to do. 
whatever you decide that your goal is going to be and whatever you decide you want to show to the world and you want to establish out there in the world, whatever it is you want to manifest. You're coming out of hiding and you're showing people uh, your gifts and how you're going to be able to pull this off. That's going to be individual. It's going to be for you, you, desi you to decide what it is you want next, but it's time. It's time to move forward. So release the home life for now and, and the isolation and the solace for now and the healing and whatever you've been doing. It's time to release it, time to move forward. Okay, that's all I have for pile one. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile two for this week's message, uh, with the topic, what do you need to release? These are gonna be your messages, and pile two did have the am uh, amethyst on it. It's a rough cup amethyst, it's really pretty. I do have one card here from the Druid Craft Tarot that I'm gonna start the reading with. It just gives us a clue about what you guys need to release. Uh, and then I will pull other cards as we go through the reading, but I'm also timing the readings this week. I did it last week. People seem to like that. I think it, it helps the uh, helps me be quicker. You know, it's like, okay, I gotta get this out instead of mulling over it and that kind of stuff. So um, it helps the messages, I think, come as more of a flash. So, and then also, you know, who has a lot of time to... <laughs> to spend on readings or watching readings. So I'll get your message out as quickly as possible and that's gonna be 10 minutes. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, uh, set the timer and then we'll get on with your reading. All right, from the Druid Craft Tarot, here's what you guys need to release. Oh, you kindred spirits, Queen of Swords. Okay. So the Queen of Swords is a very, very logical woman. She's a very independent woman. She's, uh, she got the sword of truth in her hand. Getting to the truth is very important to her. Uh, ideals are very important to her or ideas are very important to her. Um, she does not suffer fools gladly. She is stupid tough-minded she's strong-minded uh, okay so here's what I think you need to release and I say this because I'm such a I'm so like the Queen of Swords I'm very independent I think for some of you you're being asked to release your independence this week a little bit to uh, maybe you just met somebody and they want to get in a relationship and you're struggling with it a little bit because you've been independent for a long time uh, maybe you've got a project that you're working on and uh, you've been doing it on your own for a very long time. Spirit's telling you, okay, it's, there's nothing wrong with being self-sufficient and independent, but sometimes you've got to ask for help. Um, some of you, I think, are being asked to release so much mental activity and, tapping, and start tapping into your heart, your emotions. Yeah. That's what I think. I think you're being to, you're being some of you are being asked to release a little bit the the logic and find the emotion in the situation. But let's get some more cards here and see what, further what we're talking about for pile two. What are the messages for pile two? Tell us about pile two. This is very interesting to me. What's going on with y'all? Oh my gosh, Queen of Queen of Swords again. Okay, so that just, anytime you get the same card twice in a reading, that's just doubling down on that message from Spirit, uh, which also tells me that I was a little bit on track with what I was saying. I think that you are being asked to um, release so much of the mental and find the emotional in a situation. You got the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, so Knights are always bringing things into our life Pinnacles, that's that's monetary things, that's material things. It can be a um, new job, uh, mm, something that is coming into your life right now that 
brings you the potential to earn money later down the road. This is slow moving energy. The Knight of Pentacles is, is movement, but it's slow moving, moving. So it's not like you're gonna win the lottery or something. Something happens that uh, gives you hope for monetary gain through slow and steady pro progress. That's kind of what that card means. All right, so you got the Page of Wands here. Um, and you got the Three of Wands. Wands are activity, they're energy, they're movement. Pages are, messen they can be messengers, so when you get the Page of Wands, it kind of indicates that maybe uh, it's a card of vitality and good news. Like, so maybe some good news is coming in to you guys this week, goes right along with this, maybe a promotion at work, maybe a new job, uh, maybe you're getting that house that you wanted, although I'm kind of not, I'm not necessarily picking up on that homey kind of practical thing, can be cars, you know, material things, anything material. Uh, I'm picking up on it being something that moves you out into a new adventure. Maybe some travel for some of you guys, but I, I'm thinking like a job. Maybe school. Maybe you're accepted at a school that you have applied for that's going to lead you out into the world because you're going out into the world. The Three of Wands comes after the Two of Wands. In the Two of Wands, the guy's standing there with the world in his hand. He's looking out at the world and he's, he's prospecting. He's making decisions about what he wants to do next. So when you get the Three of Wands, it's like you've already made that decision. You're picking up one of those wands. You've made the decision. You're picking it up and you're moving forward with it. So it feels like to me that you guys already have an idea of what you want. You put that request out into the universe and you get some news this week that it's coming into you. Whatever it was that, that uh, you decided that you wanted is coming in. You're getting that news um, and you are moving forward. So here's the kicker. You got the wands are act, are create creative ideas there it's activity it's action it's adventure it's traveling it's moving it's movement um and the pinnacles very practical so grounded practical energy and then you've got this queen over here who is very logical so I do feel like that you have used your logic to manifest whatever this is, but I feel like it requires you to release some of the mental, mental processes and get in touch with how you feel. And that might weigh in with the, the adventure thing. So it's it maybe fun. Maybe you're just in your head too much. It's time to have some fun. Get out there and that's another another one it's a lot of cards but we're gonna we're gonna read them real quick okay the five of Pentacles is a card of being cast out in this the cold it can be mm, there's a lot of meanings to it it is a poverty card it's a card of lack it's a card of being cast out in the cold if other cards support that I'm kind of not feeling like that for this reading because of where we're going here with this adventure and this new job opportunity or this new money making opportunity coming into you. I feel like it's I th feel like it's outside of an institution is what this particular reading is said is saying because this card can mean uh, in addition to being cast out in the cold, it can mean you're leaving the warmth of this beautiful church here, you and you're taking your trusty friend with you and you're leaving this institution back in the day when these cards, you know, kind of became popular, churches were the institutions of the day, or one of the institutions, one of the few institutions. So this card tells me that what you're doing as you're moving forward is outside of an institution. It's something, it's something big and it's something adventurous. It's very exciting. You got the King of Wands here, which is a card for Aries. It's all, also a card of an older gentleman who is very adventurous, who's very fun. They've got really good stories to tell because they've just done so many things. I, you've got, you got definitely got adventure coming in here. You got the three of 
Cups, which is a celebration card, goes along with this news I think that you're getting here. It is definitely something to celebrate. Another card for a new job. Another card for something being offered to you in the material realm, but this is big. This is, uh, the aces are always new beginnings and they're all, they always have the hand of God in them. So the divine is offering this to you. Not only do you have the night here, moving it forward, moving it right into your life, it's, it's coming from the divine. It's big, you guys. Um, I don't know. Um, what else could it be? Maybe you're just getting a bundle of money that lets you travel the world or something. You got a, another card of adventure. The Fool is the beginning of the Major Arcana. It's starting over, I guess, is what you would... Well, it's not starting over. It's starting fresh. It's starting anew. It's going out into the world, going out on a new venture. You have no idea how it's going to turn out. You're not even taking very much with you. You're taking this little pack that you have your worldly possessions in. You're taking this flower, which I think represents hope, because you don't know how it's going to turn out. You hope that it turns out well. That flower actually may represent something else, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is. And then you have the... That's not what it represents to me. To me, it represents hope that this is all going to turn out okay. And then you're taking your trusty dog with you, your faithful companion. That's two cards here that, that talk about taking a companion with you as you're striking out. So you and someone else, again, you might have to give up your independence. So in this venture, I think it requires someone else going with you, maybe an Aries, maybe an older gentleman that's adventurous. Uh, page of one, Sagittarius energy. Um, Queen of Swords is Virgo energy for me. Maybe one of those people. Uh, but I, I, I feel like for a lot of you, it's just going to be an older gentleman that's that's really adventurous. And, and y'all are going out together, you and this person. You have to give up a little bit of independence to have this great adventure that's ahead of you. So that 10 minutes is up. So I'm going to get one final message from um, our angels and ancestors. So we'll see if we've got one final message for pile two here. This is a really great message. It's very succinct. It's actually really, really exciting for you guys. For uh, you people, maybe, maybe women. But for you, those of you who have, are just really used to being independent and doing it on your own, you get, you're getting a partner in crime, and that partner, you and that partner are going out into the world. You're doing something really exciting. For some of you, that's going to be a job. The partnership is a, a part of a money-making thing. For some of you, I feel like it might be a relationship that brings you a, an adventurous opportunity that turns into a money-making situation. Whatever it is, um, it's really very exciting. Okay, what final messages do you have for pile two here? What final messages for pile two? Winter, take care of your needs. Okay, so when you're going out on this <laughs> big adventure here with this person, uh, although you are having to give up your independence to pursue this exciting new thing, be sure to take care of yourself too. Don't give it all away, okay? You can be with someone and be enjoying a wonderful and beautiful adventure with someone, but still take care of yourself. Okay, that's all I have for my pile twos. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile three, these are going to be your messages for the week. Uh, with the topic, what do you need to release? And pile three did have the hot pink agate on it. That is a man-made stone. I love the color. Hot pink is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> 
So for this reading, I have just chosen one card to kind of get us started to help us talk about, get started talking about what it is that you need to release. It is from the Druid Craft Tarot. I am timing the readings this week, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer, and then we'll get started on your reading. All right, let's see what we got here. What do you need to release? You got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles is a card. Uh, now, I read it a little bit differently in the Druid Craft Tarot, but the, the meanings are very similar. So the Eight of Pentacles is about working really hard at something that you love. It's slow and steady progress, but it's the kind of the message of the card is because you love it, you don't even notice the hard work that you're putting into it. And because you love it, the Pentacles are just stacking up, okay? I do see in this particular rendition of it, it always has a apprenticeship meaning to it, like you are apprenticing under someone else to um, learn how to make a living for yourself in the future, or someone is apprenticing under you. So I do see that way more in this particular card. So, and when I look at it, what I see is back breaking work, working really hard, and apprenticeship. So here's what I think that you guys, I think you're gonna, you're gonna fall down into two categories. Some of you need to release all of the hard work that you're putting into uh, a project that you're working on. Now, I don't know if that means permanently or temporarily or letting somebody else do some of the back-breaking work. I, I just, uh, you're drowning. I just got, <laughs> My nose just uh, did this weird thing where I felt like like it does whenever you get water up your nose when you're when you're in the water. Very odd. You guys are drowning in work, and you you need to release some of it. You need to let somebody else help you, or change your lifestyle where you don't work so hard. Quite frankly, where you enjoy more where it's more of a balance. You work some and you enjoy life some. It's not, it can't all be hard work all the time. A lot of times when we're trying to manifest something, when we have a goal or something, we're willing to work really hard in the early stages because we really want it to work out, right? And you gotta put in the work. That's just the way it goes. Uh, but this saying, the time, there's, the time is now to release that. Okay, so that's for some of you. The second message I'm getting here is that you're actually training somebody to help you um, take over the business, to help you with your business, your a corporate trainer, and your job is to train people to do a certain job. This is actually saying release them. They're done, they're, they, they know enough, they're ready to be let loose on the job, they're good. That's what that's saying. For some of you, release the instruction. It's time to, it's time for them to do the work. All right, let's see if we can get some other messages here for this. Tell us, tell us more, tell us more for pile three. What do you got for pile three? I just wanna, just wanna get more messages. Let's see what spirit has to say here. Okay, you got. Ooh, got several here. First of all, you got the Ace of Wands, which is the literal meaning for the card is a new life. Uh, definitely a new beginning, a new way of life. The Emperor card, which is establishing yourself out into the world. Nine of Wands, there's that exhaustion again. You're wore out, you're tired, battle worn. You've got one fight left in you, but that's it. And then you're gonna be able to give up the ghost. And you got the full card. Okay, so what you are releasing is work, some of you. Um, you're releasing the nine to five grind and you're going out into the world and doing something completely adventurous and fun and establishing yourself in another career that is not so back-breaking. 
um, or maybe because of this hard work, you get to change your life so that you're, let's just take this for example, okay? Like you've built a business and you've built an online business and that can be done from anywhere in the world. So now that you've done this bag breaking work, and you've established this business online, that allows you to go out on an adventure, to go anywhere in the world you wanna go, and travel around the country or travel around the world because that is your dream. Whatever it is, <laughs> it's a new way of life for you. It's a new adventure. Um, that's for some of you. For the others of you, the ones that need to release your trainee or that somebody that's apprenticing uh, under you, they're absolutely ready. Uh, the Emperor card is very strong, masculine uh, energy, but it's, uh, like I said, it's establishing yourself in the world, but it's doing it through kind of the father order, which is using control, order, discipline, um, processes, step-by-step -step processes to establish yourself out in the world. This person is ready to do that. They're ready to go out there on their own. It's going to require a leap of faith, but they're absolutely uh, ready to go out there and conquer this job, whatever that job is. They're good. And incidentally, I think it brings, a, it brings a new life to both of you. So like, maybe it is a business. Maybe you have a restaurant or your family has a restaurant. You've been working in it for years and years and years uh, and working really hard at it. <coughs> um, it's time for you to cut back a little bit on your hours. You're exhausted, you're drowning, you're wore out. So you've been training a child, one of your children, to take over the business. Well. They're ready, they're ready to take it over, and then it allows you to go travel across the country. You'll still have your hand in the business maybe, maybe you'll uh, do some things for the business, but you're not working it all by yourself all the time, so it gives you the opportunity of a new life here. Got the Page of Pentacles. Um, that could kind of go, go along with college, with learning uh, a new trade. Page of Pentacles is a minor arcana for Capricorn. Uh, pages are messengers too, so you might get some uh, news about some material thing, some financial thing. Uh, if you need some money to change, to uh, be able to change hands from like going back to the example of owning a restaurant, a family restaurant. If you need like a, a loan to for the trend just for the time of transition as you're changing hands over to your child and you're going out to do this, whatever it is, uh, something's coming to you in the way of financial stability, money, new job, new job prospect, Education, definitely education in this card that goes kind of along with this apprenticeship thing. Paige being a young person. So this kind of just reiterating that message that that young person that you're teaching, they're ready to go out and do it. Uh, it moves your world forward. It moves their world forward. The world is the, <laughs> that's hilarious, you guys. You got the first card in the major arcana the fool and you got the last card in the major arcana it, this is a definitely a major cycle is ending in your life and a major cycle isn't beginning in your life i think there's two people i think it's you and somebody else that are connected in some way that uh in this work situation i do think it has something to do with finances with money with work um however you guys are connected you're being asked to release control, to release this person so that you can move out into the world or you're being asked to release the hard work yourself so that you can move out into the world and do something completely different. 
uh, you can your it's a brand new life it doesn't necessarily have to be a brand new job it's a brand new life and I keep coming back to adventure maybe because of, it's a wand the wands are, are always about uh, passion the wands are always about passion and fun and adventure but it could be you know it could be a new job it's definitely a new way of living for you guys that is the truth all right, so I'm just gonna get that beeping just indicated that our 10 minutes is up. So I'm just gonna get one final message from the angels and ancestors for you guys. Final words of wisdom. Pile three. What do you got, angels and ancestors, for pile three? Eagle. See from a higher perspective. That's really cool. I think you're living your life from a higher perspective. From this point on, I think you're living from a higher perspective. You're not getting bogged down anymore in all work and no play. There has to be more to life and you're and you're seeing that now and you're going out to pursue that which you love that which you're passionate about it's not just it's not to say you're not gonna work at all we all you know have things that we have to do but I think you're changing your perspective from nine to five grind to a different way of living People. We have uh, Aries energy here and we have Capricorn energy. Aries being adventure and enthusiasm, Capricorn being uh, practical, grounded, steadfast, hardworking. I think you're, move, you're shifting from this grounded, practical, hardworking to fun and adventure and it's gonna be interesting. You don't know how it's gonna turn out, but you have everything that you need. You're taking very little with you too. Well, this this is what makes me think, like retiring, handing over your business to somebody, retiring, taking the RV out and turning the country. That just, uh, that's one of the things that make me think that. It, this could be anything, take it as it resonates, but new life for you guys, for sure. New cycle. Okay, that's all I have for pile threes. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile four for your weekly messages, uh, this is what I got for you. Pile four has the aqua or quartz on it. And the topic for the this week is what you need to release. What do you need to release? So I have just chosen one card so far from the Druid Craft Tarot, and as I go through the reading, I will choose more cards. But I am timing the readings this week. I did that last week, and I think people like that. So I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes, and then we'll get started on your reading. All right, let's see what we got here. What do you need to release? Oh, strength. Okay. Hmm. Major Arcana for Leo. Uh, this is just a card all about being strong, having the will and the determination that you need to uh, do whatever it need, is that needs to be done. Strength is obviously required because this is saying, you know, you have it in abundance to take care of what needs to be taken care of. This can also talk about feminine strength using tact and diplomacy to um, win the battle, uh, so to speak. Instead of that, instead of uh, brute force, like masculine strength to uh, tame this beast, she's using tact and diplomacy to get what she needs. Okay, with this coming up as the card for something that you need to release, I think we're looking at an attitude here. Um, what you need to release is the attitude that nobody can help you you have to do it on your own you have to be the strong one all the time 
you can't let anybody see any weakness at all. There's just nobody, there's just nobody to lean on. It has to be you. That's what I'm getting. I feel like what you need to release is that attitude that um, you've got, to, it's gotta be you. You're the, you're the one. You have to be strong for the whole world. And this, uh, what you need to come to, or what I think Spirit is wanting you to come to is a place where it's okay for you to be vulnerable. It's okay for you to um, let other people take care of some things. You do not have to do it all. You do not have to be strong all the time. There is no shame in crying. You're taking, if you're taking on too much, then you're just taking on too much and you can take, let somebody else take on some of those burdens. So let's see what else we got for pile uh, fours here. Let's see what other messages coming through. Um, I'm using the herbal craft tarot today to see, you know, just clarify the messages a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna take all those. That's a lot of cards. Uh, but let's take a look at them. You got the Six of Pentacles. Uh, Six of Pentacles is a card of reciprocity that kind of goes along with, uh, it's time to give up a little bit. You don't have to do it all. You don't have to be the one that gives all the time. You can take two. It can, it can be an exchange. I think you're being asked to um, give up that need to do it all yourself and to let someone else come in in your life and help you. You got strength again. Same same message. Anytime you get this, uh, the car, a card twice in a reading, that's just spirit reiterating that message. Uh, you need to release that that need, and it's not not a, it's not necessarily a need. You feel like it's a need. For you to be strong all the time you don't have to be strong all the time quite frankly there has to be give and take in all relationships um, and when you're worn out you're just worn out and you don't have to uh, just put on your big girl panties and your makeup and go out into the world and fight the battle every day on your own when you're exhausted you it's okay to take a break it's okay to take a rest it's okay to ask other people for help you got the king of swords here which is a minor arcana for libra um <coughs> kings a lot of times are older gentlemen this particular older gentleman, if it is an older gentleman, would be someone who is very uh, logical in their uh, processes, in how they approach life. They're very smart. They're very intellectual. They, uh, it's kind of almost like that justice card. They like things to be fair and they like them to be balanced and they're gonna make the right choice. They're always gonna try to make the right decision for everybody concerned. This is not necessarily the most fun king and it's not the most romantic king, but he is a solid guy. He has so much integrity, it's hard for any of the other kings to touch him. Just a lot of integrity. Okay, so down here we have the Empress card. This is a much more balanced woman than this right here. This is a tough woman, believe me. She's strong, she can do anything. She has everything that she needs in her arsenal to handle anything. But these two cards coming out like this in this reading, this is telling me Spirit wants you to be more like this. Empress is very Earth Mother energy. She is, yeah, she's strong and she's independent. She's also a mother, so she's nurturing. And she, she's giving birth to ideas or literally giving birth to uh, 
someone else. She's very abundant. She's very emotional. She can ask for help when she needs help from the emperor. She's going to ask him for help. Um, and she's going to, you know, charm the pants off of him until she gets what she wants. That's the, the emperor, empress is super, super feminine energy. And that's not to say that this woman is not feminine. But I think you're being asked to look at a, for, a, a more uh, receptive, and that's, that's feminine, right? Receiving, uh, masculine is, is giving and doing and establishing and, and working and feminine is receptive. So I think that you're being asked to be more receptive in this, this is a reciprocity too. I think you're being asked to, to receive, to, you don't have to give all the time. Sometimes you can sit on your throne and let people bring grapes to you to eat, you know? Okay, so very fascinating here. We got two aces. Two, aces are always new beginnings. This tells me you are getting ready to embark on a new life. That's what the Ace of Wands is. It's a new adventure. It's new energy. It's basically, the literal meaning is a new life. Your life is changing in a big way. I think some of you because of, I think most of you actually, is because of relationship. That's why I think you're, you're being asked here to receive. It's okay for you to receive now. You're not used to it. You're used to doing things on your own. Um, but love is pouring into your life right now. So much that you are overflowing. That much love is pouring into your not life. You have a new beginning here, a new emotional beginning, and it comes from releasing control some, opening up to that feminine energy, and let, letting that love flow to you and through you. That's not to say that you're not gonna help people, but your cup has to be full before you can give to other people, before you can nurture other people, before you can take care of other people. Your cup has to be full. That's what this is saying. It's okay to release having to give and give and give all the time and be the strong one all the time so that other people, maybe this gentleman right here, can give to you so that your cup be, can be full so that you can give to uh, you have nothing to give right now let someone fill your cup that's what this reading is saying i like that a lot really 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 cool really cool I wish that would happen for me. I'm, you know, you get tired of doing it on your own. You get tired of being the strong one, having to be the strong one all the time, having to take care of everything. Let someone else take care of you for a change. Then, when you, when you let them fill you up with love, then you can help it, other people again. But for right now, this is saying be a little bit selfish and let the abundance flow to you and through you. All right. Final words from angels and ancestors. Final messages for pile four. What final messages do you have for pile fours? Oh, take care of your needs. Pile oh, three got this one too. That's interesting. Um, yeah, take care of yourself. Take care of your needs. Let this person take care of you. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, you don't have to give, give, give all the time. You can take care of your needs too. That's what that's what spirit's asking you to do. And let this guy let this. Now uh, the energies are feminine and masculine, but take it as it resonates. Like if you're a man. 
then you know then this would be a woman who is coming in to give to you and you're you need to be in a receptive mode and that's feminine energy it is to to receive but everybody has to do it we all have both we all have masculine and feminine energies in us so you've been just doing too much of the given manly stuff you need to receive it's okay to take care of yourself too all right that's all i have for pile four until next time i'm sending you lots of light and love namaste Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile five, these are gonna be your messages for the week with the uh, topic, what do you need to release? On pile five, we did have that rough cut citrine. Uh, okay, so, I do have just one card here that's gonna get us started on this reading. It is from the Druid Craft Tarot. Um, I will pull additional cards as we go through. But I'm also timing the readings this week. I did that last week. People kind of like that. I think it helps me get the messages out more quickly. So it saves time for you guys. It saves time for me. I think it just works real well. So let me go ahead and start the timer. And then we will get on with your reading. All right, let's see what we got here to get started on the message. Okay, so you got the Princess of Cups. Uh, okay, so the Princess of Cups in this particular deck is, would be like the Page of Cups in the Rider Waite deck. That is a person. That is like a minor arcana for Pisces, or it is a, a younger person who is emotional, in touch with their emotions, likes to have fun, um, this particular rendition, this is an emotional person, but it's very, she's very intuitive as well. She has her eyes closed and she's smelling whatever is in this cup here. Um, just kind of almost taken in the essence of it. So this particular rendition is definitely a card of using your intuition. So for this to be a card of release and what you need to release, I feel like it, uh, I get, I'm getting a couple of messages here. Uh, some of you may have young children that are leaving the nest, not young, like 18 or whatever years old, leaving the nest, getting ready to go off to college or something. This card is saying you have to release control a little bit of them and let them go out and make their own way because everybody has to do that. They have to learn and grow as adult human beings. It's hard to do, but you might be uh, being asked to let go a little bit of, of the reins of your child. That's for some of you. For some of you, I think you're being asked to release the, um, let's see. The problem solving skill that you naturally have of using your intuition and I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure this is just for one particular uh, thing that you're working on right now one decision that you're trying to make is going to require more research more logic um, more making that pros and cons list very practical steps to make this decision instead of using your intuition which you, re which you have in spades and you rely on and it's great to rely on it don't get me wrong we all need our intuition and the more honed you have that skill the better off you are but in this one particular situation i think you guys are being asked to be way more practical about how you make it instead of just going by based on your intuition and your instincts let's just pull some more cards See what other messages we can get for this and what you guys need to release. Let's see what messages Spirit has for us. For Pile 5. Pile 5 is always so interesting. She's got the Justice card. Justice is blind. She's got her eyes closed. Something about... Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> Something about that. Two of Pentacles, again, a decision that has to be made. Juggling a couple of things, weighing some decision, um, trying to figure out what's the best approach. The Five of Swords is a conflict. Now, this can be pretty nasty conflict. So, uh, I'll see if I can get a clarifier on this. But I do feel like you're trying to make a decision here. I do think you're really conflicted about it. And you might be having some people pulling you in one direction or another in a really neg negative and nasty way would almost have to be family because it's people that know you really well, you know. Um, they're trying to pull you in one direction and you're, you're saying, uh, you're trying to, actually you've got your eyes closed, you're trying not to make the decision, you want it to just kind of go away. It's not gonna go away on its own. So you got the justice, again, you got, we talked about that. The justice card is major arcana for Libra, but it is also about being balanced, right? Uh, trying to balance this situation, trying to find a just outcome to a situation, the right decision, making the right decision. That's kind of where you're at right now. You got the Knight of Cups. Knights are always bringing things into our lives. This is emotion. This is emotional healing. I think that's what this Knight is bringing in because you also got the Ten of Cups, which is... Uh, Mm, emotional fulfillment. It's like the epitome of emotional fulfillment. These uh, suits go from the ace to the 10. So the 10 is like the biggest, the best, the happiest, the most. The And uh, so in this particular case, because cups is a relationships and emotional, then 10 of cups would be a, a tremendous emotional fulfillment. This is also a very happy family card. So, all right, so for those of you who may have someone of an age, like of 18 or whatever, that they're leaving the nest a little bit, so those of you that are becoming empty nesters, um, I feel like there's some confl uh, conflicting some conflict around it, like you're maybe fighting with your child, which by the way is very normal. Like uh, we always do that when we feel like we're losing somebody, we will fight with them and that way we can convince ourselves that we're not gonna miss them as bad, you know, when they're gone. <laughs> it's subconscious, we don't do it on purpose, but it happens all the time. So I do think that you have some conflict with uh, your child over how, how, you know, maybe the school that they want to go to or how they're going to handle their situation, maybe their financial situation moving forward or whatever. I think there's going to be a just outcome to that. I think, uh, I think it's all going to be fine. Of course, it's all going to be fine. And, uh, again, if you stop using the intuition and as you move through this process, move through it very practically, move through it uh, with really, really good sound swords, logical decision-making practices. This uh, justice card, there's a sword there too. Sword of truth, right? So use the intellect and practical steps to make decisions in this particular process. There definitely is a healing here and you go back to being a happy family or you, uh, will come to a place of emotional fulfillment. If this is not about someone leaving home, if this is about you have a decision that you have to make and you're gonna have to use you know, practical steps and logical steps to make the decision instead of using your in intuition this time, it's okay. It's, there, it's gonna all work out fine. There's gonna be an emotional healing and, and it's beautiful in the end. You get this beautiful 10 of cups here. It's going to be fine. There's gonna be a just outcome to the situation. What else? Do you have anything else? Got a couple minutes here. Let's see what else we got for pile fives. Again, pile fives, so, so, so interesting all the time. <coughs> You got the Four of Wands, which is a happy home. Um, and that, again, goes back to the emotional healing that's going to come 
from this um, situation. You got the justice twice, which just tells me there is absolutely going to be a just outcome to this situation. Use logic to make the right decision. Uh, weigh the options carefully. There's balance here. Justice is always trying to find balance um, in the situation instead of favoring one over another. So use that sword again. <coughs> wielding a sword so that use that sword of logic truth intellect to get to the bottom of the situation and to make the decision and it is all going to be fine i promise you you got another uh knight here which this knight of pentacles is very practical it's bringing something in financially i do feel like there might be some financial angle to this decision if it is a child that's going off to college, there might be some financial decisions that need to be made. There might be some problems with some finances. If it's you, yourself, uh, that uh, you need to make a decision using practical methods instead of the intuition, there might be some financial element to it. Because again, knights are always bringing things into our life, and this particular knight is bringing in something in the way of material, uh, something materially. It could be money, could be a job, could be uh, actual, uh, it could be a savings, it could be investments, it, whatever it is. Uh, it could, you know, material things. It can be a home, you got a house right there. It can be a car, just very practical material things. All right, these two cards that you got here, you got another, um, this is swords too. Swords, again, intellect, logic, cut to the truth, find the truth in the situation. This is the seven of swords, which is always taking your leave. I think this may have to do with maybe a child is leaving home. Um, the swords does indicate that... <laughs> Uh, some of the problems are going with you, right? You're leaving a couple of the problems behind, but some of the problems you're taking with you. Uh, and then you have the Ten of Wands, which is a card of being overburdened, actually. I don't know if you feel that way because of this decision, if this decision is weighing you down. If um, it is a child leaving home, maybe you 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 know because raising kids is exhausting maybe you will kind of are at a place of being a little bit exhausted and um just tired and run down but the tens are endings and beginnings at the same time so yes this is this situation is coming to an end and you will have a new beginning and it's a very it is it's a good beginning Again, there is going to be a just outcome to this. So the new beginning looks really bright, full of love and also of uh, stability. Love and stability, that's, what's, that's what these nights are bringing into you. Emotional healing and financial abundance. Now this is slow and steady. It's not like you're gonna get win the lottery or anything it's slow and steady work towards your goals <clears throat> okay so we are out of time so i'm gonna just get one final message from our angels and ancestors and see what what final words of wisdom we can get on pile five in this situation final words of wisdom for pile five Uh, medicine garden guardian be open to healing information okay so this could be like some of you might be down uh, under the weather or something some the decision that you have to make might be about something medical this can also just be an emotional healing so um, there's going to be some information coming in to you this is just saying be open to uh, information about healing, whether it is a physical healing or it is a, an emotional healing, either way. Some information is coming to you and they're just saying it might be a little bit unorthodox, so uh, be sure to keep an open mind. All right, that's all I have for Pile 5. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste.